Hey everybody. So I'm trying to do better about posting videos on YouTube and making an attempt to get that going a little bit better. So I'll tell you the story today about our refrigerator. When we bought our bus, it came with a mini fridge, like an apartment fridge, and it worked great on our trip from San Diego to Georgia. But in the spring, it kind of started to crap out on us. It just wasn't performing like we needed it to, and the freezer was really small. So we were researching chest refrigerators, and Jeremy found Iceco, and we decided that that would be the kind of fridge that we would want. And eventually, when we do our kitchen remodel, we will have the refrigerator under the counter. For right now, we've just had it on a platform in front of the couch, which has been fine. It's kind of been like an extra counter for when we are cooking and using our Instant Pot. We managed to get a discount on the refrigerator when we first bought it from Iceco. The only bad thing was it arrived to us damaged. So we worked with them and they were able to give us a, even more of a discount. Even though it was damaged, it was just cosmetic damage. Well, it worked fine when it arrived until October. And at some point during the fall, we realized that it was freezing everything and we didn't want it to. And it made the compressor work overtime. But they sent us a new thermostat and the fridge worked again, but it had been working so hard that we were worried that the compressor was too damaged. But we worked with it for a couple of months, and then the day after Jeremy's dad died, it completely crapped out. Completely crapped out. Truly, the last thing we needed was to have our fridge die the day after having a traumatic death in the family. So, we emailed them, and thankfully, they said, no problem, we're sending you a replacement. We just have to send them back the old fridge. Just got the notification that this was dropped off. Don't see anything problematic with it. The box is a little, but not too bad. And the bottom's intact. Okay. So that is great. And we have a new fridge that hopefully won't be damaged when we open it. And hopefully will work just fine and have no problems. But that's what we're doing today. We've got to get the new fridge opened and installed. And then we can maybe get some groceries again. Get the old fridge packaged up to send back to them. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it will be a much better experience than what happened this last time with the fridge. I don't see any dings or scratches on this one, which is super nice. Okay, down to zero on both of them. Turn this 
basically off. I don't think it matters because we're not on batteries anyway. But that will shut the refrigerator down if the battery gets too low so it doesn't kill your battery. Mm -hmm. And depending on how you how much you want it to tell before it shuts off. That's a pretty cool feature. It's all shiny and new. I know, it's so great. I really like how these doors come off too. Mm -hmm. But we have noticed one thing we have to pay attention to is this seal likes to fall out. And then you'll be like, well, well this is closed. And then you eventually remember that the seals fall out. Yeah, it was starting to get pretty frequent that it was coming off. Just in one little spot. Yeah, so pop it down to zero. Let it cool down for a little bit and then get our stuff in there. So the fridge is cooled down now, so I'm going to raise the temperature so that I can put the groceries in. Now we have our brand new, fully functional Iceco EL90 Pro D refrigerator, and we're so thankful. Thank you Iceco for being so easy to work with this time and for sending us a new unit. All we have to do now is get the old unit in the mail they sent us a shipping label, so we don't have to pay for the shipping to send it back or anything. So we are super thankful and looking forward to having a working fridge again. So that is our Iceco refrigerator story. We also have a smaller Iceco unit that we use as our freezer, which maybe I will tell you guys about another time. Until next week, hopefully. See you guys later. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that. We're going to try to get our YouTube channel up and running more frequently. Thanks, everybody.